Hi guys, welcome to day four of our Sims Free Play Advent Hint Tips and Tutorials. Every day on the run up to Christmas throughout December, I am showing you a little hint or tip to do with Sims Free Play. Enjoy. Day three is all about inspiring your Sims, how you can inspire your Sims, and why is it important to get your Sims inspired. So all Sims have needs. They have a hunger, a bladder, an energy, hygiene, social and fun needs that is shown in the bottom left screen whenever you click on a different sim you can see their specific needs and how full each of their need is. So as you can see on this sim the hunger need has gone right down, the bladder need they have fulfilled their bladder need, the energy need they have fulfilled and the hygiene, social and fun are also very low. To make your sim inspired all of these six needs have to be filled up green right to the top. If you leave your sims on their own for a period of time, their needs just begin to fall and as you can see, they will eventually turn red. Then your sim is really unhappy, they won't leave the house, they won't go to work and they just kind of mope around, they drag their heels everywhere and they take a long, long time to get anywhere. If the bladder need isn't fulfilled, they will pee themselves and if that happens, then they become stinky and as you can see with these sims, they are smelling really quite bad. This guy is moping around at the moment. Most of the objects in your house will fulfill a certain need. If you click on it, the icon next to it, so this one is energy, that will fill up the energy a certain amount. The fridge, you can eat leftovers, that will fulfill your hunger obviously. If when you're doing an action the bar doesn't become completely full, you can just keep doing it over and over until the bar does become full. Let's fill up this sim's needs. So they are hungry, so we'll go to the fridge and we'll do leftovers for 18 seconds, which will be for the hunger need. So we can see here that our hunger is going up slightly. We need to do this a couple of times on the leftovers because it is only 18 seconds. So we'll keep doing it a few times. And there you go, with that you can see that her hunger need is fulfilled. Now her toilet need is fulfilled, but obviously if it wasn't, we would go and use the toilet. That is six seconds. Her energy need is also filled up, and for energy you can use various things. You can use living room chairs, you can use dining room chairs. You can of course use beds, but the best way to fulfill the energy, the quickest and most effective way, is using the coffee machine. We can tell she's very stinky by the smell that is coming off it and for the hygiene there's various different things you can use. Generally I would say the best one is to wash hands in a sink. You can of course use a shower or a bath as well. Hygiene is now full. Next one is her social and social the best way to do that is just to talk to other sims. You can also use the telephone. I always think it's best to do interactions with another sim because obviously with that other sim you are increasing their social as well. Social is now filled, the last one is fun and again there are so many different ways of fulfilling the fun need. You can watch TV, you can go on a computer, you can also listen to some music using a stereo, there are so many different ways. And there we go, as you can see she has just become inspired, all of her needs have reached the level that they need to be and when they're inspired they begin to sparkle like this. When you are placing items from the home store in your house, there is a little icon next to them that will say which need it will meet. So for example, the telephone, it's got the social, the TVs, it's got the fun. If items haven't got anything next to them, like the weather machine here, it means that it will not fulfill any need. There is a much quicker, easier and simpler way to get your sims inspired, and that is by using the singing salmon. To get the Seeing Salmon, you'll have to have completed the Life, Dreams and Legacies quest within the time limit. That quest is the last quest in the main series of quests within the game. Once you have won that, if you click on it and you listen to an inspiring song for 30 seconds, the Salmon will just sing to you, you'll have a little dance to it, and when the 30 seconds is up, all the needs will be fulfilled and they will be instantly inspired. There are two other ways of making your sim inspired. One is by using the cupcakes and the other is by using the rainbow cakes of inspiration. Both are accessed via this little green icon here. The cupcakes cost 5 LP each and if you click on it, it will cost 5 LP and your sim will be instantly inspired. It doesn't give you a notification to ask you if you want to do that so just be careful before wasting 5 LP. The other way is by using the Rainbow Cakes of Inspiration. These are only available if you are a VIP. A VIP is when you spend 
real money on the game. And every day, depending upon your VIP level, you will get a certain amount of free rainbow cake slices. So if you become a VIP level 2, you will get one free cake per day. Level 3 is two slices per day. I'm VIP level 8, so I get 10 free slices every day. And to access them, you just go into the Rainbow Cakes of Inspiration. As you can see, I got 1,700. It's not something that I use very often. And to use them, you can just go ahead and just add a slice to everyone. And then all of your sims, or obviously whoever you want, all of your sims will become instantly inspired. I'm just going to do it to all of them because I have so many slices, it doesn't matter. There we go. Now all of my sims are inspired. You may be wondering what is the purpose, what is the point of having inspired sims. Your inspired sims will earn more simoleons and more XP when they do things like gardening and cooking. If we go into a garden patch with an inspired sim, you can see that we will get 1260 simoleons and 928 XP with an inspired sim. And with an uninspired sim, we're only going to get 840 simoleons and 620 XP. XP so it's quite a big difference and it's definitely worth having your sims inspired before they do these tasks so There you go. That is all about inspiring your sims. I hope this has helped you out if it has give the video a thumbs up Thank you so much for watching join me tomorrow for another little tip on sims free play Thanks for watching and I will see you then. Bye